Hello, I'm Scott. And I'm Molly. We serve Kensington Community Church as moderator and vice moderator. All around the church, there have been a lot of great conversations lately about what it means for us to be a church. We've talked about how a church and its minister are equally important partners, about how being a church means choosing to sing the same song together, even if we are not all on the same note, and about how blessed we are by the many wonderful people who make up our church. We've also talked a little bit, but maybe not enough, about what it means to be a congregational church. Congregationalism is a tradition that goes back hundreds of years. It's founded on the idea that God shepherds all of us, not only our ministers, and that God gives all of us the responsibility to do God's work in the world. Our church is run by its members through the representatives on the church council. The council is something like a board of directors for the church. It's made up of the two of us, plus the church's treasurer, Bob Bapgar, the secretary, Penny Ward, and the chairs of our five ministry committees, who you'll hear more from in the coming weeks. Together, we're responsible for all the typical things you'd expect a board of directors to do. Proposing budgets, voting on policies, managing the church's relationship with its staff, and organizing many ministry committees. But the church council is just one part of what makes a congregational church like ours function. The vast majority of what it takes to be a church is a collective effort that includes the council and everyone else. All of us, together, vote on the annual budget, elect council members, and participate in the ministry committees that make the work of the church actually happen. All of us will have a chance to help select our next minister. This Lent is going to be a really special and important time for KCC. In the next month and a half, we'll have more opportunities to get involved than we've had in a really long time. No kidding. As we move through Lent, we are holding weekly discernment gatherings, followed by healing gatherings hosted by the Women's Spirituality Group. The annual budget meeting is coming up next week. We also have Spring Cleaning Day, alms collection for our global mission partners, Rachel's house, and a fundraising drive for the Western Regional Youth Event. There's a lot going on. And don't forget our infamous Memorial Day pancake breakfast. It will be here before we know it. We want to make sure you have every opportunity to be a part of anything that calls to you. Each week in Lent, you're going to hear from another council member about the work their ministry committee is doing and ways you can get involved. Even if you're already familiar with our church council and ministries, I encourage you to watch this space for ways our church is growing and changing. There may be new opportunities to get involved that you had never known existed before. In the meantime, I hope we'll see you at the discernment gatherings after the 1030 service so we can hear from you as we plan out the next steps for our community. It's really important to us that we are all collectively searching for what God's call is for this church. We can't do that alone. If you're hearing all of this and want to get involved, but you aren't a member yet, I have great news for you. First, you can be involved in a lot of this without being a member. No one is checking our membership roster. Or your backstage pass. <laughs> before you join the choir or show up at our discernment meetings. And second, you have an opportunity to become a member in this season as well. It's a really simple process. There's no membership fee to pay and no creed you have to sign. Just contact Stephen to RSVP for any one of the three membership classes we are holding during Lent, and then he'll get you set up to join as a member in an upcoming service. Our church has certainly had to face some tough stuff in the past few months. I think I speak for the entire church council when I say how grateful we are to get to walk through those things with you. And how excited we are to get to walk the path ahead with you too. Absolutely. Thank you all again for everything you're doing from showing up on Sunday to volunteering with the youth on Wednesdays and contributing financially to the church. I look forward to seeing all the ways we will believe, belong, and become together in the next chapter of our church's journey. Thank you. Mm -hmm.